YouTube, what is good? I'm here for part one. It might be a part two or part three or part four video. I don't even know, but uh, it's been something I've been meaning to do for quite some time now. A lot of people have asked about it, so I decided to give it a shot. Uh, today, we're going to do a wrestling t-shirt collection video. We're only going to go through this one bin. I have multiple bins, but uh, let's see what's in this one bin. I haven't really looked, honestly, in a while, so it should be pretty exciting to see what we got here. We're going to start off right here with the shirt that's on top. Here we got the ECFNW. On the back it says, of course, you know, this means war. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Some of the memories I have are going to this uh, video game, video store back in the day with my grandparents, uh, mostly my grandma and my brother. I was scared of ECW. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I was a little scared of that. I was young back then. And uh, yeah, it just wasn't something I watched as often as I did WWF. Speaking of ECW, this one's fire, man. Original Raven ECW shirt on the back quote the raven nevermore and again all these shirts are in like pretty good condition a lot of them are xl sadly i wish there were two x's but most of them are xl we'll keep going with the ecw stuff just because we got it on top here we have another one ecw extreme wrestling our big boys kick ass as you can see this one is like feels brand new on a nice hanes tag this one honestly i recently got for the personal cactus jack original wwf 1998 so obviously he's a guy who's in ecw and ended up in wwf definitely a nice shirt right there next up we'll go to not a shirt it's a cool jersey piece right here 316 austin 316 sleeves are really cool got the skulls on the sleeves and all that since we're on steve austin i guess we'll go to the next shirt wow this one's new with tags texas rattlesnake don't trust anybody a lot of this stuff if it's not my size i gotta start listing it for sale because it's just in here in this bin uh here's a wrestler i honestly was not a fan of growing up i know a lot of people are big fans of this guy triple h i was just you know never a fan of him obviously you can see this is the armageddon shirt what year is this 1999 december 12th at the National Car Renter Center. Triple H versus Vince McMahon. New Age Outlaws versus Mankind and The Rock. Big Show versus Big Boss Man. I forgot uh, Mankind and The Rock used to tag team. That's quite a weird tag team, I must say. Since we're on event shirts, we might as well go to this next one. This is on the uh, AAA tag. WWF Survivor Series. Whew, this one's sweet. Winner take all. November 18th, 2001. I really like shirts with Booker T on it. I feel like I don't really have many shirts that have Booker T, so it's cool to see his face on a shirt there. We're gonna go to the next one. We actually have one of these at the shop right now the raging climax shirt there's a little hole in the back of this one 1999 that back hit is crazy obviously i kind of wish that back hit was on the front it would look crazy but yeah this one has a little hole so i should definitely try to get this listed and sold or maybe just start wearing it we got some like newer stuff that probably shouldn't be in here this cool undertaker shirt but honestly i'm just gonna throw that out of the way because i want this to be strictly vintage shirts or, or shirts from like 2008 and below we have the classic austin 316 other side jackass shirt obviously not the easiest shirt to wear around the world next up we got world warriors wwe shirt this one is from 2005 so not you know the oldest next up we got love this one nwo wolfpack shirt all the guys on there well almost all the guys but uh yeah definitely a cool one right here i believe i was speaking about booker t just now and then we got this wwe 2003 shirt can you dig that sucker definitely a shirt you don't see too often even though it's a little bit newer here we have a honestly i think this is a reprint i think this is a reprint sabu shirt this one's cool but i'm gonna put that aside with the reprint printed stuff here we have a classic ecw cool logo shirt look at that on the back let the ass kicking begin definitely some cool stuff try to go as quick as possible i know you guys obviously you know this could get boring here we got just an original uh, nwo wolfpack shirt next up this one's crazy ecw just incredible not just the coolest not just the best just incredible this joint's crazy it's size large so i should probably list this on ebay asap because i can't wear it that's for sure here we got the r.i.p brian pillman shirt 1962 to 19 97 definitely a rare piece right here you don't see too often going back to the ecw convicted on 11099 guilty as charged live on pay-per-view sick sick shirt let's move on another wwf one Whew, the invasion that's crazy i hated the mcmahon's growing up i feel like everyone did but uh you know as you get older you respect them as businessmen and honestly like shane mcmahon like he was not the uh, best athlete but he did a lot of crazy stuff in the ring that's for sure next up we got this original raw is war with the little warzone patch on the back warzone on n64 was probably i think that was like my first really good video game from what i remember i think warzone was before smackdown or vice versa but uh, i remember warzone for n64 was crazy 
crazy. The creative player edition, creative wrestler, that was crazy. Really good memories there. This one is crazy. The 1999 original homicidal Sabu shirt. Sabu is crazy. I mean, as you can see, look, he got the, the spike. Like, come on, that's just like a little much. Not gonna lie. Speaking of McMahon, we got the Hogan vs. McMahon, 20 years in the making, 2003 shirt. This is also a large, so I gotta get that listed. Since we're on WWE style shirts, I think this is when it says the streak uh, was over. Undertaker lost. March 28th, 2010, Arizona WrestleMania. This is a cool one. Again, I try to stick to the WWF shirts, but you know, some WWE stuff is pretty cool. Here we got a uh, WWE Stone Cold Arrive, Raise Hell, Leave. This one, I obviously don't like the ones that have like this type of print on them, but I kind of just been piling stuff in these bins and I have like no idea what's in it. This shirt right here, this is a great one. Front, regular, but the original, if you know, you know. One of my favorite wrestlers, X-Pac, of course. This one, I've seen a lot of reprinted versions, but this is the original from 2000, Stone Cold. That hit on the back is crazy with a WWF tag. Here we got a cool one, Party Boys. Fear is only a four letter word. That one's pretty dope. This is probably one of my, you know, I guess shirts that I never thought I'd own. And then when it walked in, I was like, holy smokes, I own this shirt. Shawn Michaels. Honestly, this feels like it's like brand new. So I should probably try to wear it, wash it so it doesn't dry rot. But this shirt is crazy though. I mean, look at that. Can't get much better than that. Move on to some NWO, just a regular NWO. Here's a little bit of a different NWO, long sleeve. I really like these shirts, these like random WCW event shirts. I think these are really sweet. This is a really nice one. I always see this on eBay for like a high price, like 300 bucks. And I, I just say, hey, like I know I have that and I've been somewhere. Icon versus Icon. Even The Rock, I was really not the biggest Rock fan growing up. I was a big Stone Cold guy and I kind of hated The Rock. Again, you get older, you start to respect these guys for what they did for wrestling. Another cool one, Fall Brawl, War Games. I think this is the exact same one, just a different color. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we got the original Mr. Ass. Four words. Check out my ass. That's a funny one right there. Here's another event shirt. Starcade. Unedited, unpredictable, unreal. December 17th, 2000. This one is awesome, man. Holy smokes. We got Booker T, Goldberg, Big Papa Pump, Kevin Nash, and uh, Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett, yeah. For some reason, I thought it was Dale Jarrett, but Jeff Jarrett, I was not a fan of him and his whole uh, guitar gimmick. Not really cool to me. It's like a country singer, you know what I mean? Next up, we got another Hardcore Cafe ECW Philadelphia shirt. I pledge allegiance to the wrestlers of ECW and to the violence for which we demand. One promotion under Todd, politically incorrect with broken tables and barbed wire for all. Welcome to ECFNW Paul Heyman. This one right here is crazy as well. ECW Join the Revolution. This shirt is sick, man. We got some sick stuff. This is one of my favorites. This is a medium. Wow, we have this in a medium. We gotta get this listed ASAP. I have this original one in the XL. It's classic, classic stuff. Here we got the Monday Night Nitro shirt. Really like that logo. I feel like I should do a Top Shelf Kicks logo with something like that going. Next up, we got a small Stone Cold shirt. When you see this video, some of these shirts should be on our eBay store, so check it out. A lot of this smaller stuff will probably start putting up because I can't wear it unless I lose like 100 pounds. Next up, we got another small one, it seems. A large DDP Diamond Dallas Page. He's from, I believe, Asbury Park, New Jersey, doing yoga now, so shouts to DDP, of course. Let's get a bang one time. Here we got an awesome one. WCW Sting shirt. The unveiling 10 29 live Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM Grand. Wish I was in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand right now. Next up, we got, what is this? Slamboree. I didn't even know we had this shirt. Uh, 1999. Wow, that's a really cool graphic on the back. Not really much going on in the front, but cool in the back. Oh, this one, guys. WCW Mayhem. Check out the back. The genetic freak of sports entertainment unleashed. Big pop of pump back there. Fire. Fire stuff. Next up, we got the Bash at the Beach. Original WCW shirt. I really miss WCW, man. I was a big fan of that. Can't go wrong with another Stone Cold Don't Trust Anybody Rattlesnake shirt. That's always nice. Jump back to ECW. Wow, this one. It's not for everyone. Just like everything in life, you know? It's not for everybody. We just sold one of these on eBay that we just shipped out. We have another one here. This one's a little smaller. As you can see, Bad has arrived and it's here to stay. Next up, shouts to Snickers. We got the WCW NWO. You guys ready for the back of this? Hit on the back of this is just crazy. Halloween Havoc. This one looks like it got a nice little fit to it. Big XL. I look for the bigger XLs, obviously. Here we got a Goldberg shirt. Big fan of Goldberg, but I'll be honest, his shirts are not really the best. Like, it's tough to wear a guy in like a, you know, little like bathing suit on your chest all the time. There, there's more to a wrestling shirt, obviously. Here we have another crazy one, Halloween Havoc. Ain't no bluffing. This, Las Vegas, I mean, 
crazy graphic right there. Here we got one that, uh, again, Jeff Jarrett, listen up, slap nut shirt. That's a funny one. Here we got a nice fully loaded July 23rd, 2000 crap shoot shirt. Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, Triple H, Chris Benoit, and The Rock. R.I.P. Chris Benoit, of course, and R.I.P. to Chris Benoit's family. This one's crazy. I mean, the fit on this, you could just tell by looking at it, I'd assume. ECW Heat Wave 1998. I mean, this stuff is crazy. We're gonna burn your ass. Heat Wave 98 live on pay-per-view. Really cool stuff. Getting down to the nitty gritty here. Here we have an interesting one. The pack in the house. Run with the pack, man. This is a really nice shirt. R.I.P. Scott Hole. Next up, we got the Hollywood Hogan. Nothing on the back there. Next up, we got another 316 Stone Cold. Wait a minute for this one, guys. That's a beautiful one. This one I had as a kid and I saw it, I feel like a couple years ago on eBay and I had to grab it and I think it works. Wait. I mean, it, wor it worked like a couple of days ago. What the hell's going on? Whatever, I guess uh, it doesn't work. Obviously the shirt used to talk. It was talking the other day, but I guess it stopped talking. Either way, really cool to have this brand new with tags. Here we got another Stone Cold shirt. They probably gotta be washed as you can see. This one came in these like VHS type tapes and uh, that's why they're so wrinkled. Here we have a Stone Cold reprint. Stomping mud holes and walking them dry since 1995. This is again, an, just a reprint. And here we have the last shirt in here. This is a baby rock shirt right here. Really cool shirt. So that's about it. If you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe subscribe, drop a comment, let me know your best, you know, wrestling memory, whatever that is. This is part one of what hopefully will be a part two, part three segment collection video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, we will start putting some of these wrestling shirts on our eBay store. You can always check that out, topshelfkicks.com. Appreciate all the support. See you guys soon. Peace.